morning, y'all. People are awake. So I'm going to talk about our efforts to raise the bar in South Carolina as we are raising funds on our Give Out Day uh, participation. Show of hands, how many people are familiar with Give Out Day? Okay, good. I don't have to do part of the slides. Um, <laughs> what I will tell you, though, is in South Carolina, according to our census data uh, through the Williams Institute, we have about 100,000 LGBT fam uh, individuals in our state. Um, we are successfully engaging about seven to 10,000 of those. We obviously need to do more to build our base and to reach those folks. Um, in a rural state, it is a little difficult sometimes to find folks who are stealth and underground, and we have um, only certain larger population bases. But um, through Give Out Day, what we did was um, approach the concept that about 5% of our movement is giving to LGBT, or 5% of our population is giving to our movement, and we really wanted to increase that for South Carolina. So instead of doing it as one organization, what we decided to do was partner with three other nonprofits. Um, if you know anything about South Carolina politics, they say that our state is uh, too small to be a republic, but too large to be an insane asylum. Um, it's true. Uh, <laughs> our state is also too large to just operate by one organization, so we end up with lots of regional organizations. So what we decided to do, though, was unite under one effort to raise money for our state. When people brought up the concern, well, why are you helping fundraise for other organizations? Don't you need the money? The thought was any dollar raised for South Carolina was a dollar that benefited our whole state. Um, if the LGBT Center is open and operating, they can field the calls for resources that come to my phone, and then I can focus on my work doing political and policy work. We also worked with Sean's Last Wish uh, in Greenville, and we are family in Charleston. Uh, so for South Carolina uh, quality in specific, we each raised money for ourselves, but what we tried to do was cross-promote that these other organizations were involved. Um, we specifically had a sort of online campaign that started with emails one month out, one week out, the day before, the morning of, and then the afternoon of give out day. Uh, so during that 24-hour period, um, I'll tell you all how we did in a minute, uh, but it was sort of building in, in energy and momentum. We also decided to start with low-hanging fruit. So we realized that there are folks who had supported equality in the past, but were not currently giving this year. And so those folks, about 500 of them, were, given, were sent postcards telling them about Give Out Day and hoping that they would donate on May 9th. We also did targeted phone calls to ask specific donors if they would give towards a matching amount. And our board came together and pledged $4,500 for that day. So we already knew that we were starting with a sort of um, carrot that could lead the community into donating more. We also had a social media campaign, and every day or a couple days we would post new images or repost the same images, and so we had a graphic designer come up with different graphics. And then see the one on the right is actually what someone would get after they had donated. It would be sent to them. So the idea was that hopefully after they had donated, they'd post, and then their friends would see the link and repost, et cetera. We also did a webathon. We partnered with a company to stream live feed of our fundraising uh, show. We did local LGBT talent. And Jerry Lewis, eat your heart out. We had a great time and also raised money for all four organizations. We had a phone bank going on and folks were calling donors in their base to tell them about their organization. But we were all in one room together and therefore sharing that energy and excitement. So for South Carolina Equality, um, we came in fourth nationally uh, of smaller organizations under 500 and seventh nationally overall for Give Out Day. Uh, so we're very proud of that. I do have to give a shout out to Fairness West Virginia. You all made a uh, good fundraising nemesis. Uh, you beat us by six donors for the third place spot. They also tied with another organization. But we benefited from these rainbow tickets. We raised an additional $3,000 uh, through prizes that were drawn by the Give Out Day folks. So in the end, South Carolina walked away with $25,000 in a 24-hour period between our organizations. Thank you. Um, and we specifically got about 16000 of that. So um, just the takeaways as I close. Um, 
We just want to make sure that everyone knows that the next Give Out Day will be May 15th, 2014. If your organization hasn't been involved, this is a really great opportunity for you to give folks a reason to fundraise around. But then also remember that um, our four organizations now have a reason to work together on other issues because we all decided to share the pie instead of fight over it. Uh, so hopefully this will give you guys some inspiration for what you can do in your states.